Hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here we're going to talk about having integrations I mean when you have a course or you're trying to sell a piece of software you're trying to do anything online you need a capture page right you need a funnel and then you need to have an email autoresponder you need to have a payment gateway you need to have all these different things and then you need to connect them all right so we're going to talk about how to connect that how do the how the integrations work what's the process for you to actually get paid in your funnel and actually how to trigger emails being sent and how all that is all connected no matter whether you're building a course selling a piece of software or selling an affiliate program or anything online you need to be able to do that all right so we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so it's one thing to have something to sell to create a funnel to send people to it to I mean, all that is a lot of work right but even if you do that if you don't have the integration set up then you're not going to get the results you're not going to get people to engage and there's other things you can do too like for me I'm actually putting together this uh, software right and we're going to talk about that and show you what I have as a funnel I'll show you how I integrated things so that you can do it too but before we get into that I want to make sure you know if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video and the blog post at cis327.jsgagnon.com and uh, yeah so you're going to go there make sure you go there to check the video and the audio because I do share my screen to show you exactly how to do this right so you've got a course you've got an affiliate program that you're offering that you're selling for the you've got a nef, um, network marketing business you're getting and wanting people to get into you've got a book that you wrote you've got an ebook that you put together you've got a website you've got you know there's so many things you've got a piece of software a chrome extension like me you've got all those things and you're trying to get people to buy it right so you gotta you gotta have a way for them to buy it you got to have a way to communicate to them if they buy it or maybe if they don't buy it you got to have these uh, different options right so there's a lot of things you can do to make that easier on you for me putting together this software is one thing and but then it's promoting it and selling it and having everything in place so that people can actually do that right so let me just show you here I'm going to share the screen we can get that over here I'm going to share the screen this is my current uh thing that I'm working on right my comment grabber software it's basically a piece of software where you get a f uh well it's a piece of software that lets you capture comments on Facebook so it lets you get these people to to it gets you to to keep track of comments that people are posting on Facebook anyways it's just a piece of software that does all that obviously if you're interested in that I would love to have you go to commentgrabber.com to actually go and uh I'm actually giving away a free license right now but that's not the point the point is how do you get the integrations done right if you go to your uh, funnel click funnels account you're going to see up top you're going to have account settings if you go to account settings right there right you end up on this page now on this page you're going to need to have <laughs> your integration set up your payment gateway set up so those are the two things that are most important uh, email integrations domains all these different things they're separate they're separate things that don't necessarily have to be done um, so I'm not going to cover those but let's just talk about um, the integration so first of all in the integrations you're going to want to make sure you have a Weber or your email autoresponder set up for me it's a Weber because I I use a Weber right so if you were to click on add new integration it'll pop up the list of all the different things you can integrate with it that's overwhelming obviously there's a lot of stuff um, but all these different things are connections with other services that when you when you have a funnel if you integrate that you're going to be able to have people in um, have actions happen when people 
uh, enter your funnel right if they put their email in there for example with Aweber or other autoresponders email providers uh, what will happen is you're going to be able to send the email that the person put in their form to that provider and then in there you set up a, an email list and all these other things we can kind of show you a little bit of that because that's what I do so kind of show you what I did for my software uh, launch what I'm doing with that and how that works right so first in Aweber you would click on the Aweber um, and then uh, right now I already have it I don't know if it'll say anything yeah so let's just see you already have an integration for Aweber you can edit it if you prefer so let's just just uh, see what happens if I click this I just because this is kind of what you have to do if you haven't done it already let me see what happens here oh yeah so it's going to go and ask you to log in to Aweber afterwards I'm not going to do it right now because afterward and then what it does is it gives you a um an API key that you plug in to here so it's really a two-step process first you go well maybe three step so first you go to click funnels under your settings under your integrations and you say add integration and you choose Aweber right so number one is that you choose Aweber oops sorry uh secondly you click on this connect integration button when you connect integration when you click on it it'll ask you to log in to click funnels to connect uh your integration your click funnels account once you do that once you click on allow access it'll give you a API key which is just a, a text a piece of text that you got to take and copy and then paste into click funnels so I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do it now because that'll reset my current integration but that's all it is you do those three things you copy the text and paste it in, in click funnels then your integration is done then what it'll look like is afterwards you're gonna it's gonna look like this you're gonna have Aweber right down here to say connected right so let's just close that so you're gonna say connected down here with a date and if I I don't know I click on it I guess I can edit it uh yeah so then I say update integration if I wanted to anyways I'm not going to bother but that's your integration for Aweber which is your autoresponder if you have other autoresponders very similar basically what what you're doing is you're giving permission for click funnels to interact or to connect or to do things in that third party you know to click funnels is the third party thing it's a, a separate connection that you can actually uh do whatever is needed by that integration in case of in case of an email autoresponder what is required is sending emails adding people to subscribe subscription lists right so that means that when I go to Aweber if I go to Aweber my uh Aweber account right right now I have this uh this I have lists right so if I just go to my list for example so I got a bunch of lists right I got a bunch of lists on here and that's one of the things that I I do I create a bunch of lists I create lists for different things so for example right now for common grabber I created a list for the wait list where is it let's comment oh actually I think I can can I no I guess not okay so comment grabber wait list right here chrome accession I got a chrome extension bonus and anyways I got these three different things I just started kind of promoting as you can see there's not a ton of people in the list yet um <coughs> but that's so I got a, a wait list that is the one that's integrated with the funnel that I'm going to show you right now that is basically a list of people that are interested in getting a free version of the software right? so it's it's that's what the funnel is about this funnel did I show you yeah, the funnel right here this funnel right here right is the the opt-in page of it so uh, I've got three parts to the funnel the opt-in page then I have a one-time offer that I'm offering people a super bonus uh, super deal on the software if they want it before it's released and then the third thing is um the entry into the contest right so you first get your email in the list I talk about what the common grabber software is what does it do how to use it and then to win a free lifetime license go put your name and email in there right so I got my test email there so that's the first page the second page is a is a uh, one-time offer so basically I, I talk about the software again I talk about the promotion I'm doing I uh, allow people to buy it now how do I do that there has to be an integration right so in here I'm not in here in here 
under payment gateway so that's the thing second you need you need to have a payment gateway right so that's where you do that so on it's still under whoops account settings right here under payment gateway right there uh right now I've got two of them set up which is uh my stripe and my paypal and um yeah so I'll actually you know what I'm gonna see if I can put both of those payment methods in my funnel because I thought I couldn't but I think maybe there's a there's probably a way to do that but for now I got paypal only and if I click on this let's see what happens I'm not sure what if I edit it my stipe my business name oh it's oh actually it's actually oh no it's not there oh comment grabber maybe let's do that no that's not really let's just make make it my name there you go uh okay so I just got that default stripe and then under paypal under paypal I don't think so there's a whoa look at that secret I don't know mm. so I don't know if I'm telling you what my paypal credentials are maybe I'm gonna have to change that because this if this video gets out yeah so don't don't cop I don't know what that would do if the, if you were I don't know if you'd be able to get money out or not I don't know what that does probably allows you to send me money I would think I hope so all right so anyways that's that um okay so those are the two things you need these integrations you need the payment integration so that people can pay you and you need your autoresponder integration so you can add people to an email list now obviously you need to create a list so under aweber if I want to go into here I would click on lists and I would create a new list <coughs> right I would create a list I would call it whatever I want the well the first thing is your and then you call the list whatever you want and then afterwards you create it right it's very simple I'm not gonna uh I'm not gonna leave yeah I'm not going to show you that because I've done it before in lots of other uh, uh, episodes you can go look on my blog for sure to go find a Weber uh, uh, guides but yeah so you create a list once you have a list then you can have uh that you can add people to the list now okay so now let's go to the funnel let's go to the funnel I have which is the one we're looking at so common grabber launch right so this is I've got uh also um what do you call it um split testing yeah split testing so in here I've got multiple pages there's ones that I don't I don't use I don't need there's really just three pages I need here the comment grabber special offer and then the comment grabber free license uh so first this is the page here so let's just go show you how the uh, setup works so we're not going to save anything because I don't want to change anything but if I go to this and I go through here you see there's three of these uh three of these buttons right so these are uh, form elements so I got full name here I got email address here and then I've got this button here which is uh submit order submit form right so you set this up on all three of them that's to uh configure the 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 the, the content I guess or what happens when when what what goes here right what goes there and what goes here what happens to here and if and then you go into integrations right here under integrations I'm already connected um let's remove it so show you how it works okay so when you first create your page you're not going to be connected to your autoresponder even if you put these these boxes there or you copy an existing funnel and put those boxes what you have to do is you got to click on the button that you want people to click on and then uh the, and set it to submit your form and then you got to go into your settings of the page and go to integrations which I just show you there right you go to settings integrations and then it'll say not connected you just select integration right here you go into Aweber and then you select uh, either add list with tag or integrate existing list right so I want to add to list I wonder if that's what I did well uh, I should probably open it up then you go find your list chrome grabber wait list right and then you just say tags I want to have a tag maybe I could put a tag in there that says from uh from click funnels or funnel one or something right so let's just uh I'm not gonna save that because I want to see 
what it was set at because I might not, not have set it right let's go back here and I want to look at what I did before so uh, and then I go to settings integrations integrate existing list and that's not what I want I don't think so let's do that aweber add to list with tag I don't know what that means what's what does that mean anyways I want to add them to a list so it's going to be common grabber whoops common grabber wait list and let's say um funnel one let's just call it funnel one and there we go so that's done and then I save it right so that now my page whenever they submit is going to end up doing that adding them to this list right with this tag okay so now that's the first page the opt-in page the page where you put your email in I want to make sure that the integration is add to list and I want to make sure that each of the buttons if there's more than one on the page you have to go to each of the buttons and make sure every single button says in the set action it says submit order submit form all right so you got to make sure that that's set up on your page all right so let's go out of here uh did I I don't know what I, I don't think I changed anything I'll just save it okay I changed the the integration but I thought I but I already saved it so that's why I'm saying I wonder now I gotta go and make sure this page does the same because I because I'm and because I'm running a split test I gotta edit both make sure they're both the same integrations uh aweber add to list um common grabber and then I'm going to say funnel 1b I'm just going to call it b well no funnel 1 and then and then b test all right there we go I'm going to save that submit this page everything's their full name yeah they're all the same that's good okay so now we're going to go back here and you know what this is interesting because I never I never um I didn't think that I had I would have to fix the um fix the uh by the way the reason why it's red like this is because I just created this the, the I just created it so there's not enough traffic yet to see so I don't know why it says 0.26 I guess there's no <coughs> there's no traffic yet that gone to it okay so the next one okay so now we have the integration to your email list and we have the the setup so that when people join the list they get it Let, let's actually go back and and set the um the tag there on this page to um I want to set the tag to I can't change it oh, I guess I gotta remove it and re-add it okay uh Aweber I'm in grabber and I want to call it funnel one what you can only sort by one tag I don't want to sort okay uh what's this is going to be test a okay so funnel one test a no. test a so you can't have more than one tag oh okay that's weird I don't know what I thought didn't he let me put more than one tag in the other one or maybe maybe it was ended up being okay let's go back because I this is something I've I I'm just learning about right now so I just want to check the other one and see whether the integration was like that if I go into integrations oh yeah look at that it's one tag oh, I don't want that okay so let's do that aweber add to list I guess it doesn't really matter I suppose right so funnel one funnel one there we go oops funnel one there we go okay save that okay so now we have the integration sorry I'm taking a little bit longer but okay so now we have the integration for the email in the opt-in page you need to get an email in get it into your list right so now the next one the next page is the one-time offer the OTO which is basically an offer to buy 
my software at a deal right so that's pretty good 50 percent confidence edit page okay so let's go here and what we're going to do is we're going to see if I can add a payment with uh the two because right now I've got this button here that set, set action is click upsell choose a pro okay right we gotta let me show you the product here let's go back uh first first before well I guess you don't have to do that first but before you can have a product and you can integrate with a payment gateway which you like I said you had to create the payment gateway like I showed you in the other one which actually I didn't show you did I if I go into account settings and I go into in payment gateways this will be basically the same thing if I click on add new payment gateway it'll give me a list of options of places I can have payment gateway, like Clickbank right let's let's add Clickbank for the fun of it I don't know what it'll do but I need to get an API key product clerk API key Clickbank vendor ID so create Clickbank account I already have one so why is it uh, not I already have a Clickbank account so I probably have to go into Clickbank let's go into Clickbank Clickbank and log in there so Clickbank by the way if you don't know what Clickbank is it's a a marketplace for software that you can resell and you get commissions on right so right now I've got only one thing that I'm promoting which is uh which is um the bot on my the chat bot on my uh, blog on my blog right so I'm not getting a ton of uh, but as an affiliate got 147 last month right three sales not huge but still okay so now let me see account settings oh I think it's vendor settings if I had something I was selling through Clickbank uh, okay okay yeah so vendors and then conveniently yeah okay so oh my site my features okay so that yeah let's not worry about that so if I go to click funnels then if I'm selling something on Clickbank if I actually have a product that I'm selling through Clickbank there's probably a whole set of training about that then you would need these these keys and then you would be able to add Clickbank as a payment integration right let's just go back here but right now I have these two other ones with PayPal it was a process of logging in uh you would it would give you uh it would you would need an API key put it in there and it's just kind of the same thing but you got to set that up and if you're not sure how you can just google it I I I done it a long time ago so I can't actually show you to you again but I'm sure you can find a ton of people out there showing you how exactly to do it or even with even uh ClickFunnels has uh, uh help for that right you can just um you can just go to the help here and get help and find out how to do this right you can just google that and you'll find help for that but once it's done once you have that under your funnels if you go to your funnel uh, that you have a product on like me I'm selling my product on my one-time offer my common grabber special right on this page you go to products right here because it's a one-time offer funnel you get this extra product um, tab here so you click on the products there and then you would add a product me I have my comment grabber intro I've got a 297 I can show you probably what it looks like I told it to integrate with PayPal and I so you can't do both right in there so maybe what I can do let's actually create another product where, where did it go? let's go back here okay <laughs> so let's create another product using stripe see if that works because I want to have another button that says use stripe to pay right so let's just do this add a product and it's going to be stripe it's a one-time it's a one-time product save and next and it's going to be it's going to be called a comment grabber lifetime license okay come and grab your lifetime license product price is 297 uh, currency usd price display override customer to display the price in your order form I don't need that shipping origin address so I got to put my number 902 what's my what's my 0676 I think 
I keep forgetting what my actual what my actual uh home or business number if you will is right I gotta whoops gotta go look it up six two oh oh six seven six oh six seven six okay and then my address line is my business address is seven Bilbo Balibo what is it uh, hold on let me go find that where's my I gotta go find an email that I have my email at the bottom of it why is that not in here oh there it is right here okay so it is uh, it is it is seven Baribu Avenue okay so that's what it is here just Charlotte down in Canada and it's in PE for Prince Edward Island and the postal code is C1A 0C9 billing description so Jean product description I probably should have the exact same information should this product be the bump on the order page I don't even know what that means right inventory limit let's just save that for now I'm going to put a description I'm going to go get the description from the other one if I have it uh, create product variation save and next fulfillment should we send the fulfillment email so this is all stuff that uh, maybe trigger follow-up which I I could set up and I'm going to set up later but right now I just want to have I just want to have a page with this I have two products return to product list so I want to go look at the other one I have edit um it's going to be the product details yeah I put this uh, this description here so I should probably call this product grabber lifetime license right because it's the same thing they're both the same one is from PayPal oh, I should have done a save and close save and close I don't need anything else so let's go back to the first one whoops I wanted to go in here so let's go back to the second one I should maybe I should put PayPal or Stripe this one is Stripe Stripe and the product description no it's not here save oh it is here right there there you go save and next okay so save and close which is going to close this I wanted to have so now you get your products I got I'm actually going to edit the other one and, and say PayPal on it so that I can see so now I have two products uh, whoops next <laughs> I have two products right so this is going to be PayPal <coughs> and there we go and I'm going to close that and uh, da, 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 save and close all right so now I have my two products and that's one of the things you need you need a product if I go edit the page now I want to see if I can put the second product as a second button or something I think maybe I can so now I can go here I can add a another section oops right under here so add a button I want to add a button or or by yes I want yes I want this okay well actually I'm going to say yes here I'm going to say buy with stripe okay 
and then I'm going to say set the action it's going to be upsell choose choose product oh oh okay yeah so this will be stripe and there we go okay so now we have this with stripe should I make this a different color this should be blue this one should be well buy with stripe and then this should say with paypal okay now that means that how about this one let's just uh make this a little bit more and uh, anyway, it doesn't matter I'll do that like this and then then here I've got another button so I got to do the same thing I got to add the other button and I'm going to say yes buy with stripe right and then so people that use stripe they're going to know what that is right there you go so I probably need I might need to change this one to choose a product paypal yes that's right so there you go and let's go to the first one go and edit that as well so on the button here I have to set the action to choose a product paypal I don't know it might have been the default without because I added this second product right it's because I have two products now which is the same product but it's just buying through one provider or the other right and then I'm going to do that over here again I'm going to say button and this one's going to say again it's going to say yes buy with stripe All right uh, set action it's going to be upsell buy with stripe there we go so save that oh did I edit this one I might not have okay save that all right so now I have the three buttons the three ways to buy it they all have an extra button buy with stripe okay so save that so now that's this, and that's kind of how you do it right you got your integration with your email you got your integration with your payment gateway and then you you have to put that in here so under settings same thing integrations uh email integration I don't, I don't need an email integration yeah there's no integration needed on this page because there's we're not asking for an email and then if I go back then if I go back right to the to the the funnel page creation now over here I have oops oh it's loading up is it okay so now oh I should I need to edit this one too right mm. so I need to do the same thing here I need to add the other one because I have a so this is let's go and say yes buy with stripe okay I'm just going to create the three buttons then I'll go back and edit them uh, over here plus button save that last button okay okay set action upsell go to the stripe one this one buy a paypal one next one this one is click upsell by the stripe this one is click upsell paypal last button the last one which is the top one over here we go set action click upsell stripe this one set action click upsell paypal and there we go now I save that so now I have the th the two funnels set up right with the two products because I created two products with two gateways integrations all right then my last one for me is because I'm doing this um contest right so I've got a 
a page where you can enter your email to join to get the the the, the contest uh war to win the software right to win the software that I'm giving away and then here is basically another video there's nothing on this page there's no entering of an email or anything like that so there's no integration there's no payment but there's this custom javascript code which I got from my software which is called king sumo whoops king sumo.com sumo.com so if you want to have your own king sumo it's it's uh, it allows you to do some uh, some things like that so you basically have a um a contest that you can set up where you give away something and it keeps track because every time somebody enters it they can share it you can con you can configure it to share your your contest like see if I look at this um edit this or I guess I just do this <coughs> so there's all these uh, options to sell at bonus entries like my page just follow me on Instagram how many entries subscribe to my channel right that kind of stuff and so you can set up a, a contest and this this is a 50 dollar uh, product I don't know I don't know if, how much it is if you if I go let's just see I'm not even sure so kingsumo.com if I go there and I'm not logged in grow your email lifetime limited time get a special lifetime deal in AppSumo yeah 49 dollars so of course it's an affiliate thing so if you want I can get you a 10 dollar uh, rebate on it too um so uh just uh, let me know and I can send you a link to get this at even a better price than that right so just uh, let me know just message me you know I'll send you that link it might be in the blog post I'm not sure as well I will see if I can uh, figure out what the what it is but yeah so that's how you do your integration to your payment and to your email list now obviously in your email you're going to want to have a um, campaign set up so that people get emails when they join so I've got the welcome one that I send an, uh, an email afterwards that um a day later I send them you can't win if you don't didn't do this because sometimes they get on the list but they don't follow the next step right so you got to and then I should probably send them another message saying hey did you know or whatever stuff like that right so whatever you want to do with your list is obviously what what you do all right so hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions as always always go ahead and comment I'd love to hear your comments as well and uh, in the, below the video below the blog post wherever you're seeing this go ahead and comment and let me know what's what you're thinking how you like this what did you like best what it what is missing um yeah and everything and if you have any questions you can always reach out as well all right we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until until next time.